This is a quick overview of the Sea Head or Boone John portable composting toilet. Uh, some people would argue that it's not a true composting toilet. Uh, I do describe it as a desiccating toilet and part of a composting system. That is to say that the waste inside the toilet doesn't compost to completion. However, it does start to compost. Uh, the completed composting takes place away from the toilet in a composting tower or bin. This right here is the churn handle which inserts into the top of the toilet and allows you to churn the waste covering it with a medium so that it dries out the surface and prevents the smell. If you raise the lid you'll see that there is what is called a ceiling lid here which is basically like a chamber pot lid covers the opening and uh, keeps the what musty smell is produced keeps it inside the toilet. The ceiling lid can be stored uh, against the toilet seat and between the hinges while the toilet is being used. When the toilet is closed if it is installed and operated correctly there should be no smell at most you'll have a musty smell when you open the lid to use the toilet or open the housing lid to empty it. The smell is really not offensive. This right here is what's called the funnel and this is the part that diverts the urine down into the one gallon jug. In the back is a straight drop into the medium. Now this toilet has no medium in it right now but it would fall into the medium and as you can see there is a single vein in the bottom that when you turn it with the churn handle it creates a wave like action which rolls the waste and covers it on all sides with a medium. Here you can see the underside of the funnel. The funnel is constructed of a composite of plastics including phenolic and epoxy glass. And here is the label that has the serial number and, and directions on how to use the toilet. One other advantage of this design is it has a double containment system which means that if either of the collection containers were to leak uh, the contents will remain inside the toilet and not run out onto the floor or into the bilge of your boat. The two collection containers are a one gallon common water jug and a modified five gallon bucket. This is a dedicated bucket. You don't throw this away. Basically you pour the contents of this into another five gallon bucket or a plastic bag for disposal. You can see inside the empty housing on either side are the backup blocks for the tie down system. The panel on the back can be removed if you decide to use it with a docking cabinet. This will allow you to run a ventilation hose uh, through the back uh, if you decide that's what you want to do. Once the contents are poured out and the collection containers recharge, you simply replace it. Same with the one gallon jug. Insert it with the handle facing into the back and it will situate automatically so that when the lid is closed the funnel goes into the opening on the one gallon jug. You simply replace the sealing lid and close the lid. 